Hey guys, Robin Carlo here with Lennartson. We're making this video especially for all of you who've pre-ordered shoes and are now waiting for them. So we thought it'd be cool to give you a glimpse behind the scenes of your shoes being made so you get a sense of all that goes into constructing this kind of footwear. This is a longer video, so uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the show as I talk you through the process. All right, so here we are in Almanza, which is the city where our manufacturing partner is located. It's in the southeast of Spain. All right, so let's get into it. This is Pablo, our uh, pattern developer, pattern maker. Very skilled guy, very good at what he does. So pattern making is more part of development than it is of shoe production, but it's a very important step. Um, when we design a shoe, mostly it's a, it's an illustration, a drawing on a piece of paper, and it's up to these guys. This is Lamberto, uh, Pablo and Lamberto, to um, translate that into a pattern that will fit our shoe lost. Um, most of it is done by hand, as you can see right here. Uh, some is digital, especially scaling to different sizes is done digital. Yeah, we really appreciate these guys. Um, we've done pattern development with different people, different factories before. Never quite up to this skill level, I gotta say. All right, next up, this is the first real step in shoe production. Um, this is called pattern cutting or clicking. So this is Paco, another very skilled individual. And uh, what you see him do is he'll take those patterns that we saw before and use them to cut out the different parts that are needed to build the upper of the shoe. So in case you're thinking, uh, I don't remember seeing this color of shoe uh, on our website. Um, you're correct, this is the leather that is used uh, to build the lining. So that's the inside of the shoe, the stuff that's touching your feet when you are wearing the shoes. Now, what's most typical about watching this footage uh, for me is the fact that uh, a guy like Paco makes it look very easy what he's doing, but I assure you, it is not. Um, so there's a lot of skill involved there and definitely a, a large amount of experience. All right, on to the next part where Paco kind of just repeats the process, this time using um, different type of leather, namely the leather that will be used to build the outside of the upper of the shoes. So here we're working on the brawler model uh, in black, as you can see. All right, on to leather skiving. So all these different parts that are cut and will be stitched together soon, first need to be skived. So what's skiving? That's when you take the edges of different parts that will overlap each other and kind of thin them out. Otherwise you'll have uh, too much buildup of material in certain places of the shoe. So any part that will go on top of any other part will be uh, skived. Here's some little fire involved. It's just uh, cleaning up the edges, taking out the frays. So this is Monse, uh, and after cleaning up those edges, she's painting them black, making sure the entire upper of the shoe looks black. Right here, she's uh, gluing a couple of different parts of the lining together. And that's a common misconception you hear in shoemaking when people think about shoes that are fully stitched. Uh, including the outsoles, is the idea that there's no glue involved, but you know, every pair of shoes still has glue. You gotta glue the parts together so they don't move around while you're stitching them. So here we got Ankarna who's uh, stitching the upper of the shoe or you know, the, the outer shell of the upper. It's only the black leather at this point. So those layers get stitched separately uh, and when they're finished, they get joined up and stitched together. Here, uh, Encarna is stitching the back seam, which is a closed seam on the brawler model. So the upper is turned inside out. 
and these stitches need to be hammered in order for them not to poke out too much when the lining is uh, laid on top of it. Right, so this is edge finishing, so something most people don't really think about, but you can finish the edges of the leather on shoes in different styles. And we always choose to include a rolled edge on our shoes, on every design. And that's when you take a strip of leather and roll it over the edges and then stitch it down. Um, there's no certain reason for this other than we think it, it looks the best on our designs. It's the most pleasing aesthetic for our style of shoes and boots. Right, so here we're taking the outside of the upper of the shoe and the lining and we're gluing them together. And next up we're stitching them together. Right, this was all for stitching, so we're moving on to a different part of production that's lasting. So here we've got Adri and he's lasting the shoe. So the uppers you saw before, they don't really have any shape of their own yet. So what Adri will do is take those uppers, put them on top of a shoe last, and then use this lasting machine that will pull the leather with enormous strength over the shoe last, giving the shoe its shape. All right, over to Jose. Um, what Jose is doing, he's stitching or stapling rather, the upper and the lining onto the insole. So Jose passes it on to Fernando and what Fernando is doing right here, he's uh, using a heat gun to warm up the leather, making it more malleable. Then he'll use this hammer to hammer it even more into shape. So especially the parts where many different parts of leather are stitched together, those stitching lines will have the tendency to pull the leather away from the last. So what Fernando is doing is making sure that the leather is shaped correctly all over uh, the surface of the shoe last. Right, so this is Carlo, and Carlo is doing some basic cleaning and waxing of the shoe. Next up, he'll do a first round of buffing the leather. And uh, after that, we'll wrap it up in shrink wrap in order to protect the upper uh, when we're doing all the work to the outsole, which is quite a lot of work that's uh, ahead of us. Right, so here you see it's already getting a pretty nice shine and uh, at this stage uh, there's very little wax or uh, polish involved. It's mostly just the natural patina that uh, Carlo is buffing out of the ladder. So from here on out most of the work will be done on the outsole which is actually quite a lot of work in a Goodyear weld construction. That's how we make our shoes. So here we got Jose again, he's uh, stitching the welds onto the insole. Gotta make sure it's uh, nice and flat. And then next up, we'll have the cork footbed. So essential in a Gucci well-constructed shoe is the fact that you have a space in between the insole and the midsole. And what we do is we use agglomerated cork to fill the space. What you get is a really nice footbed. So Gucci welted shoes uh, take a little longer to break in. They're really sturdy in the beginning. That's what makes them so durable. Um, but the more you wear it, the more comfortable it'll become and this cork footbed is uh, a large part of it. So here we are gluing the outsoles to the shoe before they are stitched to the weld. So as I might have mentioned before, it's important to glue these different parts together because you don't want them moving around while you're doing the actual stitching. And 
here we got Paolo who is making sure that the edges of the sole and the weld are nicely compressed together so we can pass it along for sole stitching. Okay, so we switched to a different shoe. This is our Kaiser model in 10 that's using a rubber day-night sole, but the process remains the same. This is Emilio, so he's stitching the outsole and the midsole onto the weld. And this type of stitch is called a lock stitch. So this machine has two needles, one from the top and one from the bottom, and each needle has its own thread. And every time those needles meet in the middle of these different layers of material, this lock stitch is kind of like tying a little knot with these two threads on every stitch. All right, so we switched models again, this time to the Chieftain boot. Um, here we're putting it on the rollers, which is a machine that compresses the outsole to take on the required shape. And this is Claudio, he's edge trimming the soles of the shoe. It's typical for Gucci Well construction that you don't have a finished outsole unit when you attach it to the upper of the shoe, but you gotta go in and trim the soles individually in this uh, free-handed process. Right, so next up we're gluing the heels um, and using this hydraulics high pressure machine in order to really make sure they stick. Uh, the heels also get nailed onto the outsole in a later process, um, but I don't think we caught that on camera. to trimming, making sure the heels are uh, nicely finished as well. And these are Rogelio's skilled hands that are applying a dye to the sides of the sole and the heel. You can see it becomes quite a different aesthetic once this color is applied. So nice, it's not just a flat paint, you can still see through the color and see the grain of the leather. This is Guti, he's uh, buffing the edges of the sole and the heel, making sure they're nice and shiny. And this is probably one of the most uh, significant points of shoe construction, and it's taken out the last. So the last has been in here for so long, this is kind of like the birth of the shoe. At this point you can call it a, a you know, finished or nearly finished shoe. All right, so we'll take off the shrink wrap and everything that follows after this is basically part of the finishing station, meaning we'll do quality control and uh, all the finishing details. And after that, they'll be ready to be shipped out to us. And after that, we'll ship them out to you. All right, so here we're putting in the sock liner with some padding materials. People sometimes think that this is an insole, but it's not. You've seen the insole before. This is just some extra material that gets on top of the back portion of the insole in order to make it a little softer on the heel when you're walking in the shoes and boots. All right, so next up is cleaning the shoe. Um, we gotta make sure that the dust and dirt that might have gotten onto the shoes while constructing them is gone so here we're using an air gun to just you know blow off some dust particles and stuff make sure the shoe is nice and clean in order to put on the finishing details so here we've got Miguel Angel he's doing again some cleaning next up he'll do some more buffing here we go and uh, apply a final layer of wax which gets put on in a spray gun fashion pretty cool Alright, this is Sole, she's putting in the laces, 
And it's just another testament to the amount of hands that a shoe passes through before it's uh, fully finished. So uh, every part is important, so is the lacing. Um, you'd be surprised how easy it is to damage or scratch up the leather of a shoe just by putting in the laces. So uh, every step of the process requires uh, a good amount of attention and focus. Sole also puts in these paper wads, which are important because the shoes and boots are going to be sitting in a box for a while and we want them to maintain their shape. So, final buffing of the shoe and boots, just making sure they look uh, nice and shiny. And before the shoes go into a shoe box, they first go to Maria and Maria does quality control. So, she checks the shoes, the boots, make sure that they're all looking good um, maybe takes out some dirt some dust here but also just checks for anything you know if there's a small detail that might need some fixing she might send them back to a certain stage of the production line or worst case uh, take the shoes out and disapprove them which is rare really And finally, we can put the finished shoes into a shoe box. This is Pepe making sure that the shoes are properly lined up in the box so they don't move around a bunch when they're shipped to us in Belgium. All right, so we hope you enjoyed this video and that you now have a better understanding of what goes into making a pair of shoes at this level of quality. So just remember all current styles are still available on our website and if you've got any other questions feel free to get in touch we'd love to hear from you. Alright take care guys bye bye.